Hello student, how are you? I think everyone is fine. Uh, you will be glad to know that I take a very important and unknown class. That means this is very unknown topic. And uh, with whom we are not known. What is this? Let's go. Today I will uh, take a very important class at a very short time. Okay, this is the name of this topic. Please you know. Here. Okay, here. Periprastic model of jewelry. That means I am going to discuss about periprastic model of jewelry. You know about auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb, what is called auxiliary verb? We know auxiliary verb is a verb that is used after subject and before the principal verb just to help the only principal verb. Okay. Among them, auxiliary verb, that means auxiliary verb. What is auxiliary verb? Auxiliary verb is a verb that is used between subject and verb just to help the main verb or the principal verb. But auxiliary verb can be divided into some parts. This is called primary auxiliary and called model auxiliary and called periprastic model auxiliary periprastic plastic model auxiliary and you know about primary auxiliary means to be to have and to do you know about model auxiliary can go may my shall should will would should but this is new periprastic model auxiliary why do we use them please look and uh, this is new item, but I and we are known about this. But this are name periphastic model auxiliary, and uh, we don't know about this. Just I am informing you. Okay. Periphastic model auxiliary. What are they? What are they? What are they? Just you look at uh, you look at some examples. I am to stay at home. Okay, we were to fight against Pakistan and I am going to buy some books this is I am about to die look and the sentence I ought to do my duty Some sentence written here. I am to stay at home. Here, stay is principal, and am to here helping stay. And this is moral, but this is not moral. This is called periphastic moral. And here was to, and am going to, and about to, ought to. That means some words like used to. There are six kinds of periphastic model of jewelry. That means whenever two and a 
after of the verb that means suppose be to or be going to whenever to is used after a verb and this to verb and to is used before a principal verb these two adjusted be verb called parapastic model of jewelry and we are we are using such kind of sentence saying and again in our text passes and we are using this sentence uh, in speaking so this is but m2 is to r2 was to where to and that means we can divide them into six parts that means paraphrastic are only six part to be two sorry b2 that is m2 is to r2 was to where to and uh, be about to be about to and here plus verb one verb in base form verb verb one on verb in base form be about to here also verb in base form be be going to be going to and here also verb in one that is verb base form one two three and low ought to this is small and verb in base form and used to this is small and have to that means soever to is used after a verb that is auxiliary verb be to be about to be going to ought to used to have to and they are used before a principal verb and the principal verb will be based from and at that time we call them plastic model jewelry so i am i have tried my level to make you understand to clarify what is model and what is plastic model of jewelry what's the difference between them and b b b or to used to have to to if you delete here have is a verb to without to used also is a verb go also is a verb but they are used before a principal verb to uh, be used as helper so they are called paraphrastic model of jewelry so uh, that's enough and i try my level to make you understand that paraphrastic model of jewelry that means there are six kinds of paraphrastic model of jewelry and model of jewelry only 30 okay let's uh, and uh, at the next time i try my levels to make a class on model of jewelry okay thank you a lot of thanks if you feel well my class please like and comment and share my class okay thank you a lot of thanks